Proclaim the salvation of God day by day. Tell among the nations his glory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. Our brothers and sisters, welcome. Father Chris here celebrating Mass. Today for the, well actually St. Bartholomew Apostle, his feast day is today. Uh, it also would be the 21st Monday in ordinary time. So my brothers and sisters, before we begin, if you could send me your guardian angel, and I will send them back to you with all kinds of blessings. That's what God promises us anyway. Guardian angel at my side, go to the church for me. Kneel in my place at Holy Mass where I desire to be. At offertory in my stead, take all I am and own and place it as a sacrifice upon the altar throne. At holy consecration's bell, adore with seraph's love. My Jesus hidden in the host, come down from heaven above. And when the priest communion takes, I'll bring my Lord to me, that his sweet heart may rest on mine, and I his temple be. Brothers and sisters, welcome again. Let's acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Strengthen in us, O Lord, the faith by which the blessed Apostle Bartholomew clung wholeheartedly to your Son, and grant that through the help of his prayers, your Church may become for all the nations the sacrament of salvation. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. The angel spoke to me, saying, Come here, I will show you the bride, the wife of the Lamb. He took me in spirit to a great high mountain and showed me the holy city of Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God. It gleamed with the splendor of God. Its radiance was like that of a precious stone, like jasper, clear as crystal. It had a massive high wall with 12 gates where 12 angels were stationed and on which names were inscribed. The names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. There were three gates facing east, three north, three south, and three west. The wall of the city had twelve courses of stones as its foundation, on which were inscribed the twelve names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Make known to men your might and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is a kingdom for all ages, and your dominion endures through all generations. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. The Lord is just in all his ways and holy in all his works. The Lord is near to all who call upon him, to all who call upon him in truth. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Alleluia, Alleluia. Rabbi, you are the Son of God, you are the King of Israel. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Philip found Nathanael and told him, We have found the one about whom Moses wrote in the law and also the prophets, Jesus, son of Joseph from Nazareth. But Nathanael said to him, Can anything good come from Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him and said of him, Here is a true child of Israel. There is no duplicity in him. Nathanael said to him, 
How do you know me? Jesus answered and said to him, Before Philip called you, I saw you under the fig tree. Nathanael answered him, Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. Jesus answered and said to him, Do you believe because I told you that I saw you under the fig tree? You will see greater things than this. And he said to him, Amen, amen, I say to you, you will see heaven opened and the son of an and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, brothers and sisters, welcome back. Uh, there's something interesting that happens here. You know, when we think about the fact that God made us uh, and then gave us a free will to choose him or not. Uh, but the reality is that in the process, we are called to come to know God, to come to serve him. But there's always got to be a beginning point. There always needs to be a place. And God uses you, me, he uses you, he uses us to bring people closer to himself. But the reality is that we're broken instruments, number one. Number two, my experiences are my experiences. And your experiences are your experiences. So my point is that I do the best I can to share with somebody how Jesus has affected me. But at a certain point in time, I'm done. At a certain point in time, I've got no more for you. You know, I can keep guiding you or tell you more or help you, you know, through the church's gifts. I can help you understand who God is. But at the same point in time, my point is, at some point, we have to make that definitive decision for ourselves. And here we see this today with, uh, with Bartholomew. This is feast day. He was also called Nathaniel. In some cases, people were called two names because one was a Jewish name and one was a Greek name or a Gentile name, if you will, when they were uh, deliberately uh, talking with people from the outside world in business transactions usually. So uh, the point, though, is that what we recognize is that sometimes we have a bad understanding of who Jesus is. Sometimes we don't completely get him. Sometimes we have to come to know him ourselves. And sometimes we have to just come and see. So what happens is Philip tells Nathaniel about Jesus. And Nathaniel's like, really? Uh, you know, that's stupid. Nobody comes, nobody good comes from Nazareth. I mean, there's no bad people. I mean, there are good and bad people in Nazareth. But the reality is there was nothing in the scriptures about somebody coming from Nazareth. So Philip is telling him, and he's already got this expectation of, of well, this can't be the Messiah because he's not from Bethlehem. He's supposed to be from Bethlehem. Everybody knows the Messiah has come from Bethlehem. And you're saying this guy's from, what, Nazareth? Well, he could possibly be from both places. Hello, you know, he's born in Bethlehem. Uh, and then his parents moved back to Nazareth where, where Joseph and Mary had set up house. Um, but nonetheless, uh, that's the point. He invites him. And so uh, um, Nathaniel has a preconceived idea. And he's like, well, what good come from Nazareth? And Philip says, look, man, come see. Come check Jesus out. Come see who he is. Spend time with him. Get to know him. And then make your own judgment. That's the point. We all have to do that. And that's the greatest place for anybody to be, to come to know who Jesus is. It's a spending of time. It's a saying, Lord, I don't know who you are. But if somebody's invited me to come to know you better, maybe I can take a look at that. You know, we have programs. Uh, we have one here called Alpha, which uh, invites a person to come to know Jesus better. Uh, I think, I forget what day we're starting, September 16th, I believe. I might be wrong. If you're interested, if you live local, of course, uh, give a call to the office if you're interested in joining it. I don't think we have any online component yet, but that if this coronavirus keeps going, that might be the next phase is to have a, an online session for people through Zoom or something. We'll see. That kind of, it kind of messes with the program to do it online. It's supposed to be in person, but nonetheless, that's the point is to come to know who Jesus is and not just to, hey, I don't like something I hear about Jesus, but to come see who he is. And that's the problem of the world. The world distracts us. And Christians sometimes are not acting like Christians. So when they do things, people say, well, this person says he's Christian or she's Christian, but they're not following Jesus. And therefore, if that's what it means to be Christian, I want no part of that. So again, if a person has been hurt by somebody that is Christian, that even more so, do they have to come see who Jesus is for themselves to know that this person is a broken vessel and this person maybe was, was out for uh, their own personal gain as versus you knowing about Jesus Christ. Um, so we have to recognize that thing, especially for those of us who have ever been hurt by somebody that says they're G uh, Christian. So, uh, so may God continue to bless us and give us an insight of who Jesus Christ is and that we might follow him with all our hearts, minds, souls, uh, and everything that we are given here in this world until we see him and are blessed by him forever. Amen. My right, brothers and sisters, let us now uh, profess our faith, or lift, lift up our intentions to our Lord, I should say. For, uh, for the intentions of Pope Francis, for everything our church is doing to bring people to understand who Jesus is, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
for Monday, August 24th, for the Feast of St. Bartholomew, uh, Cindy Spence, the 8.30 a.m. Mass, uh, for her and her family, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in the Mass intention list, and when we're done with this list, we start back over. So, uh, and this includes everybody, and if you have anybody to add to the list, please send me an email at some point. You can find my email on the St. Mary Magdalene website, stmarymagdalenechurch.com. Beverly King and Lucy, Rosemary Pizza, Jeremy and Brianna, Scotty and his family, and John Crabby and his family. And all of their families, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the people of God may be shining, may be a shining sign of God's coming glory, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of our politicians, for all the people in the public arena, that the Lord would guide them, that they would truly take that they would truly enter into service and in love of their fellow persons as versus selfish gains, uh, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the earthly Jerusalem may at last find peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And that all people of every nation, language, and way of life may be welcomed into the heavenly city, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Light of the heavenly city, on the pillars of the apostles, you have built up your church. Fill us with hope as we await the day of salvation, that we may at last join the company of the apostles in the eternal Jerusalem, where Christ the, Ram, Christ the Lamb reigns forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. With your goodness, we have received the bread we offer you, for to the earth the work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. For to the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. As we celebrate anew the feast day of St. Bartholomew, O Lord, we pray that we may obtain your help through the intercession of the Apostle, in whose honor we bring you the sacrifice of praise through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you, eternal shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those who have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Come, Lord, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. 
together with Francis our Pope and Gregory our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy in us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Mary Magdalene, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. It is not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. Peace, my brothers and sisters. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, please join with me in active spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you, and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen indeed. My brothers and sisters, let us, my brothers and sisters give us a moment to uh, recognize our Lord in our midst. Let us pray. May God, who has granted you to stand firm on apostolic foundations, graciously bless you through the glorious merit of the Holy Apostle, the Holy Apostle Bartholomew. Amen. May He endow you with the teaching and example of the apostles, make you under their protection witnesses to the truth before all. Amen. So that through their intercession you may inherit the eternal homeland, for by the teaching of the apostles you possess firmness of faith. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. Do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan, and all the evil spirits who prowl throughout the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Brothers and sisters, God bless you. Have a great week. Be careful out there or be careful inside. Either way, uh, with the storms coming, uh, may God bless us and protect us all. Amen.